I'm involved with um, CPS, and uh, my um, child is um, in foster care. Um, he's there's been some uh, physical abuse, some mental abuse, and he's being kept from. Me. Um, okay. If I find a um, procedure or a rule in DCF's own procedural rules, you know, um, how do I get them to honor it? All right, this is Attorney Vincent Davis. This is The Secret, How to Fight CPS and When. My special guest today is Attorney Jennifer Ani. Jennifer, we're going to take a call right now from Florida. Uh, Henry from Florida, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. I've been, I've been, uh, I'm a big fan. I've been wanting to uh, get in contact. Yeah, I have um, questions. And I tried to, you know, break them down into just a couple so we don't hit you up with a whole bunch. And I'll save my story. I'd like for you to hear some of my story. I think I can do the questions without the story. And, um, but I'd like to throw a little bit of the story at you, but I'll save it for after, you know, this time and, and, you know, so, um, I'm involved with, I'm involved with, um, CPS and, uh, my, um, child is, um, in foster care. Um, he's, there's been some, uh, physical abuse, some mental abuse, and he's being kept from me. Um, okay. If I find a um, procedure or a rule in DCF's own procedural rules, you know, um, how do I get them to honor it, um, the findings of the rule, you know, or if there's a violation or a procedure in question, how can I properly show my lawful intent and in, in, in remain appropriate? I'm not trying to, you know, cause any problems because we know what could come of this but um like um i'm native american and um they, we haven't gotten the um they haven't gotten what they claim they need and uh, but i found a rule that says they are to it, it, as soon as somebody says mentions that the possibility is there that the dcf in in, in florida the rules that i read I, I didn't get the year. Maybe it changed, or maybe they're just pulling my leg. But they, it says that um, they are to honor it until they can prove otherwise. And they said there's no such rule. And um, so I just okay. Well, let me try to answer that question now. To keep in mind, Miss Ani and I are California attorneys. We're not Florida attorneys. So the first thing I would tell you is check with a Florida attorney. But if you were in California. Um, there's ways to challenge this whole ICWA, Indian Child Welfare Act, issue. Ms. Ani, tell us some of the things that you could do if you had a case in California and this came up. Well, for one, ICWA is a federal mandate. So it is going to apply um, pretty much the same to all states. Of course, we are not Florida attorneys, and a Florida attorney would be the one to consult. But absolutely, um, it is a thing. <laughs> it is It is a law. And if you have Indian heritage, they are required to investigate and send out notices to whichever tribes you're claiming you may have um, a quantum of blood uh, in. Uh, most states require that the parent and the child be eligible to be enrolled members in the tribe. So it may, if you haven't, if you haven't identified a federally recognized tribe, um, that may be part of it. There are tribes that are not federally recognized that would not fall under ICWA. Right. So I don't know quite enough. Well, I uh, also read somewhere, um, you know, because I kind of pay attention to detail, and it mentioned some things about um, being domiciled. See, I used to be a member of the tribe, but they changed the census. But my son lived there with my mother and she, they were both staying there and I came to Florida and um, he came down and then, then he was removed from me and uh, when I told him that he lives on the reservation they said you can't do that and uh, regardless of being native they still that's where he lived it wouldn't matter if it was California or somewhere else I was trying to explain to him that now you're keeping us in Florida 
we don't live here. And um, so, uh, but the, the question was in regards to any rule. It wasn't, I just was using that's the first thing that came to my mind. Plus, you know, maybe I get some insight on it. But, um, you know, any, any type of rule or, or something I feel like they're violating, I, I didn't know if there was a hint on how to present that without causing a problem. Because um, if I get a chance to tell you my story, um, there's, there's a lot coming at me on this. And I'm not trying well, to. Well, and you know, if, ICWA is one of those things that if it's done improperly during the trial, the appellate court, and appeals, the appellate court often will send the entire case back um, to the start to in order to comply with the ECWA laws. So it could be that that your matter would fall under that. I, I don't really have enough information for that, but yeah. certainly ICWA is is a thing. It is a federal law and is something that the courts take very seriously. Okay, now the second question. Um, just try to move along for you. Is is there is there an immediate motion to protect my son? And, and in other words, um, I've been dealing with this for a little over a year now, and um, I actually got my son a cell phone because he was calling me, and the mother was, um, you know, there was drug issues. She was overdosing. Her mother committed suicide at the drug overdose. Her sister did while she was pregnant, and she was currently using. And they. I've had full custody of my son. He's 11 since he was 10 years old. And there was a reason for that. And she never made any attempts to, to be a part of his life. And they, she was Baker acted. And then her sister helped her and she moved four hours away. When the trial was removed from me, uh, I was hospitalized, uh, excuse me, hospitalized, uh, with a, with a massive infection. And, um, <clears throat> they took him. And uh, they wouldn't let my brother or any family members come get him. They stopped it. They stopped it from happening instantaneously. And um, I didn't know where my son was for almost a week. And they were holding proceedings. They were holding trials. They were, and I had no idea what was going on. It took me a long time to figure anything out. I was freaking out. And uh, they were signing my names to stuff. And he, was, he had already been moved out of the county moved into a foster care and from the foster care to an aunt. And I had no clue. I didn't, I didn't sign anything, but I found him. And, um, then they placed him with the mother and, uh, she was, you know, a first time mother. And uh, obviously we know what happened to it. Well, yeah, I'm not, sure. not going to go that far, but, um, she, she relapsed and my son called me, you know, there was several emergencies and, uh, he's basically DCF is, is, enforcing and, 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 um, they're, they're, they're not doing anything about this and they're allowing it. And well, every time I try to hold make on, Henry, hold on, Henry. We're yes, moving I'm sorry. Towards, I'm sorry. I jumped around. Moving towards our, uh, top of the hour break. What is the second question? Oh, man. Want, what is the second question you wanted to ask us? Okay. Um, how can I protect my son? It doesn't seem like there's anybody to call and actually, He's, he's being abused. He actually wanted to write a letter to, to the Senate saying he's been kidnapped. And then they, they stopped all communication with me and him and said, I told him to say that. I didn't tell him to say okay, that. Let me and answer, they need to look Henry, into let, it. Henry, let me answer the question. Okay, remember, we're California lawyers, not Florida lawyers. Oh. Okay. In Calif <laughs> but the first thing I would do is talk to a Florida attorney. Either the attorney you have now or the court appointed attorney that you uh, have. And if you don't like the court appointed attorney, Florida probably has a provision like California to get a new court appointed attorney. But that's a, a question that's unique to Florida because I, if you were in California, I'm not sure that other than reporting it to the child abuse hotline or something like that. Um, I don't think there's any motion you can do. Jennifer, if you were in California, do you think he could do anything by way of motion? Um, Minute 15. Well, I mean, it's always possible to file a motion to modify, but I don't know what the new evidence would be to base that on. Um, I really think that he should be working with a Florida-based attorney at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have time? One minute. Hey. Uh, uh, Henry? Got got to go. I'm yeah. sorry, bro. Call me over the weekend at triple eight triple eight six five eight two. We'll go more in depth in your story on one on one. All right. I want to thank you for calling us and listening in Florida, and uh, call us in about three or four weeks and give us an update on what's going on in your case. Okay. 
All right, we have to take our top of the hour break. We'll be right back after the news and these messages. 